And as a means to tackle high-level corruption in government, the Human and Environmental Development Agenda, HEDA, and other anti-corruption organizations have called for the creation of an international anti-corruption court. This was disclosed by the anti-corruption groups at a conference organized by HEDA Resource Center in partnership with the Integrity Initiatives International in Abuja. While speaking at the event, the HEDA chairman, Suraju Olariwaju, said the conference was an opportunity to ensure that public officers who betray the trust of ordinary Nigerians were brought to book not only in Nigeria but on an international level. Stakeholders at the event thereafter affirmed that the proposed court was a welcome development, adding that it would help in tackling the menace of corruption bedeviling the country. Some of the notable personalities in the current government at the expense of the country and, and also uh, the people are conspiring uh, with corrupt elements that are tried or prosecuted by the country to subvert the process and also the interest of the country at both local and international level. Uh, and for us that said that, uh, it is uh, a sign, uh, it is an agreement, it's a pact that we have with uh, Nigeria and Nigerians that we will do everything possible uh, to ensure that our contributions to the fight against corruption would not be historical, it would be remarkable, and we are committed to ensuring that we leave that legacy uh, where others uh, within the civic space would have the confidence, the hope, and the aspiration to contribute to everything they can in terms of redeeming the country that we call Nigeria. The importance of having an impartial, independent judiciary of integrity in order to ensure that corruption cases, especially sensitive high-level corruption cases, are adjudicated appropriately. For that purpose, it has established Article 11 and has emphasized that all countries, members to the Convention, states, parties to the Convention, should ensure that their judiciaries enjoy the necessary independence, impartiality and integrity to be able to deliver upon that objective, that aspiration of independent adjudication. I'm hoping that as we all walk towards the possibility of the formation of this International uh, Anti-Corruption Court, uh, we will also look at it through that lens so that people who are able to run away, evade uh, and escape from their national jurisdictions will be able to be prosecuted in other parts of the world as well. The United States has to increase support for state and non-state actors to committed to reform, boost capacity of other governments to tackle corruption, and empower those, including activists, investigative journalists, and law enforcement on the front lines to expose corrupt acts. Some states that are party to the United Nations Convention Against Corruption are governed by kleptocrats. Uh, who, because of their position, because they control the police, they control the prosecutors, they control the courts, a rule with impunity. They will block investigations and remain unaccountable. And it is for that reason that we are advocating the establishment of an international anti-corruption court, uh, the subject of today's, today's conference. The international anti-corruption court would have authority to prosecute a head of state or government, anyone appointed by them, or people who assisted in the commission of a crime within the court's jurisdiction.